just take the road, they said. Just take the road. I'm like, no, I don't want to take the road. Here we go. <laughs> YouTube fam. My name is Faustine and my donkey and my dog are walking around the west coast of Corsica. We are discovering what it's like to be a nomad, to live in nature, and to find more harmony with nature through the experience of traveling with my dog and my donkey. Today, I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me, what it takes to find a place to sleep at night. Finding a place to sleep at night has been the hardest part of this journey and you guys are going to get to experience it with me. Let's go. All right, first, let's wrap this campsite up. Morning, Jax. This was my campsite from last night. Flat surface, always preferred. The donkey was not in a flat surface, not ideal. I need to have enough space for the tent and the donkey. And ideally, water. <laughs> I just met this guy he's like I'm trying to go towards Aaron's Beach and so I met this guy he's like oh if you go down to this beach then you could go so I'm gonna look at the routes I really want a coffee so bad so if I could get a coffee that's clutch oh, yeah. and because we're about to be on a bigger busier street I'm gonna put the dog on the donkey so Say hello hello he doesn't look too thrilled. He's like, hey, you two. Hey, what's poppin'? All right. Jax is on the donkey. I'm trying to make it not too crowded in there for him. You okay? Got this. I am going to call a camping at Aaron's Beach to see um, if they accept donkeys because not all campings accept donkeys, which has been kind of annoying. It's about 10 a.m. I'm not sure they're gonna pick up. No answer. Now, when I see this, we're on a trail, ton of tall grass, okay? This is the beginning of the tourist season. The tourist season has not started yet. And so a lot of these trails are probably not fully maintained yet. And hopefully we could go through. <laughs> the 
Butte, there is another trail. So this is, we're doing this to avoid the routes, the roads, and um, just safer for the donkey, the dog, myself, and other cars. Um, so hopefully there's another trail. So we have to cross. We have to cross here to go over there to then go to the other side. Woo! <laughs> Jax, attention. All right. I crossed the beach, got my shoes back on. The equine lady was like, oh my God, can't you tell your donkey's scaring the horses? And I'm like, yeah, well, it's obviously horses because they're scared and they're running around like crazy. A donkey would never do that. They don't run around, they observe, they pause. Jack, Smacy. Fuck, the trail I need to take has cows on it. Getting narrower and narrower. Oh boy, I don't know if this is gonna make it. Fuck. Guess it is making it. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty strenuous. And I really hope this is a solid path because we don't have water. Anywhere close, close by at this point. So we're trying to go over there. I'm trying to go behind this mountain. I always like to look at the view, but also what type of shit there is and how fresh it is. Here we got some somewhat fresh cow shit. Got lots of it. So we're definitely on cow property here. All right, the wind is picking up. The donkey does not want to walk anymore and you can just feel the rain about to come. All right, we're somewhat geared up for the rain. This is as good as it's gonna get. Backpack is covered, dog is covered. I don't know where he is. There he is, sleeping. And then the donkey is half covered. If it gets really bad, I'll take out another tarp. All right, now we're all geared up for the rain. But it ain't raining, and it's starting to get real sweaty in this rain gear. <laughs> Here. We can't get through. There's no way. Pee wee can't get through. Alright. This is getting a little 
fucking rough here. There's like not an actual fucking path cleared. So, seaweed, I'm gonna have to be a whole champion here. And let's go through the bushes. Ah. Jax is the one who has it best right now. Sorry, Pee Wee. Oh my god. Pee Wee's like, what the F, man? And it's starting to rain. Jesus. Don't turn around. No. Pee Wee. Don't turn around, donkey. Shit. I got to turn around. Uh, literally stuck. Oh my god. Pee what's wrong with you? You were almost there. Okay, that was brutal. But hopefully this path leads us through. It is 2 p.m. Two obstacles. Fuck. Fuck. Holy shit balls. I'm trying to get Pee Wee to walk and he wasn't walking. And I look behind me. There's a fucking cow. Jax. Honestly, I don't even know how the F I got here anymore. I'm surrounded by probably like 30 fucking cows. And I'm nervous. But I'm just gonna walk by. I'm not even gonna look at them in the eyes. I'm just gonna keep walking. Keep walking. Just slowly keep walking. There's definitely a lot of calves. Just gonna peacefully keep walking. I definitely feel like I'm being watched a lot. So I'm not even gonna look at him in the eyes. I'm just gonna keep walking. And Pee-wee's gotta keep walking as well. Jax, go. I'm just gonna keep going. There's honestly nothing that scares me more about this trip than fucking cows coming at me. I'm just gonna keep walking. Keep walking. Just keep walking. Right. I'm officially out of the cow zone and out of the weeds. You always lose a couple things. I lost the strap and the umbrella. All right, I'm giving Pee Wee a well-deserved break and I'm gonna see if the camping place answers now. It's a little later in the afternoon. I still don't know where I'm sleeping. Okay, so I'm just trying to go to Aaron's Beach, and now I am being told why well, I'm being told. I called the restaurant at Aaron's Beach, and the person said that he's a hunter, and that at some point I'm going to have to ask access from a shepherd some point you can arrive at a gate and there should be a shepherd somewhere I don't know I'm tired all right I'm tying up the animals all right I tied up the animals before I go see the shepherd because I don't know. Apparently he has two huge German Shepherds. 
that are guard dogs. And so I'm not trying to get any of my animals hurt. All right, it is raining. I didn't go very far today, but I am staying on the shepherds on the shepherd's land, and I have somewhat of a shelter, and I have a shower and I have water. So I'm super happy. Um, oh, and the donkey has like like half a mountain. So that's great, as long as I don't lose him. I have this field all to myself tonight. I still need to check jacks for ticks. Definitely need to check jacks for ticks. Gosh, still some. I didn't cut the grass, but it's okay. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I'm so happy. I have this land tonight to sleep on. I'm glad I have a nice place to sleep. Water, always the most important. The shepherd seems cool. I hope he stays that way. Never know. I think he's cool though. He seems cool. And this is my place. Ta -da! So I don't know if I'm gonna sleep in there yet. I just am not seeing my donkey though. That kind of worries me. Hmm. Ta Here you are. All right, I have a camping car, but honestly, this place is so full of stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, but like, it's super packed and it just, honestly, I think the light doesn't work, but I don't know, I feel like there might be spiders. I guess there's spiders outside too. I don't know, but I'll figure it out later. I'm going to shower. ou pas, euh, tant que personne ne reconnaîtra si jamais il a fait l'objet d'un attentat, ne changera malheureusement rien dans un pouvoir. All right, you guys, this is where I'm staying. It's dark. I spent the night with the shepherd. We looked at some old pictures um, of his family and the donkeys back in the day. I have this place. It's going to be raining for the next couple of days. And so I have this camping car. This is my situation. Um, okay, there's like a hell of spiders, but that's okay. Spider ain't gonna scare me. Um, this is my bed for tonight. I don't know what's going on over there. And then the stuff on the floor, some of it's mine, most of it's mine. 
And then this is my stuff here. And then I put more stuff over there. So. I'm actually starting to get weird vibes. In this thing. So I'm actually going to go plant my tent outside. Yep. Just like that. This shit open. The fuck I can't open this. Good night, Billy. All right, I am officially in the tent. I thought I was gonna sleep in the camper and then I saw the white stuff. I didn't know what it is, what it was. I called my mom. I'm like, mom, what is this? Can you tell me? And she's like, oh my God, I think that's alien sperm. And I'm like, mom, really? That's not helpful. And then I like show her the plants and she's like, oh my God. I don't know what situation you put yourself in. Like, good luck. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you know, but, you know, very sweet. And she's a sci-fi writer, so obviously she sees, like, white. She's like, did you touch it? Like, what texture is it? I was like, Mom, I ain't gonna touch it. I gotta put my fingers in my eyes after to remove my eye contacts. I'm not gonna touch it. Ew. And then she, I, like, showed her the, the caravan, and she's like, oh, my God, it looks like some serial killer shit. And I'm like, God damn it, mom, you're scaring me, stop it. <laughs> and uh, she's like, all right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> so now I just hope that tomorrow I get to live a new day. Good night.